What's up guys, your boy Darkskin, and we are back with another video, and today we're going to be going over the top three ultimate jutsus, or secret techniques, for the healer class. Now, in my last video, I went over the top five ninjutsu for the healer class. Um, I said I was going to drop this tomorrow, but I went ahead and decided to drop it today. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go to Sakura. I'm going to briefly talk about them here, and then we're going to get into a mission, and I'm going to actually show you guys um, how good they are, and you can see for yourself um, why I believe... They are the best three. So uh, starting out, we have uh, third place, which is Mitotic Regeneration. Now, the reason why I believe this is the third best is like, um, it, it, it's it's not so much that this one is bad, but the two in front of it are just better. Now, this is third place simply because whenever you, it, you get it really, really quickly, whenever you pop it, your team gets max HP, right? It doesn't heal any percentage. It heals 100% of their HP. And... If they die, you can instantly bring them back. Now, you have unlimited lives, so why would bringing them back matter? I'm glad you asked. Um, as far as any game mode, really, but like capture the flag, base battle, barrier battle, combat battle, any of the modes, right? Let's say it's a 4v4 situation, right? And two of your teammates die. It now becomes a 2v4 situation. You have to wait for your other two dead teammates to respond, and once they respond, they're all the way across the map. So now it takes them time to get back to the battlefield. By the time they get back, you and the other guy that were still alive are already dead. So to change that situation, say those two people die. You can bring them both back. So instead, so instead of having only two people alive or something like that, you could just bring those two back and make it a 4v4 situation, technically giving you six lives instead of four. Now, this jutsu, this ultimate jutsu comes really, really clutch in times of, say you, say your team almost gets wiped, say you're the last person alive, things like that, you can pop this ult, and it has invincibility frames, so once you pop it, it, it automatically goes through, they can't stop you from using your ult, it's a really good ult in that retrospect, I really, really like um, this ult, I use this a lot of the time, whenever my team can uh, get the job done, and things like that, so, uh, next up we have... Um, insect jamming technique. This is second place for secret techniques. Um, now the reason why this is second place is because uh, what you do is you release a whole bunch of insects around um, a, a pretty big area. And what it does is it makes um, the enemy team not able to lock on. Their screen becomes like real blurry and like gray. And then um, it, it, it's just it's really hard for them to fight anybody. The reason why this is so good is because the top two classes that are played, right? Or top three. You can say top three classes. It's attack, ranged. Uh, well, attack and ranged are first and second each. And then uh, defensive type, right? So between those three classes, attack types need to lock on to actually like fight people. Um, ranged types need to lock on to actually like hit people with fireballs and everything like that. And then defensive types need to lock on if they're going to do any damage at all. So based off of that... So based off of that, um, it's a really good way to shut them down and stop them from doing anything to your team. I think that um, that is one of the best things you could do as a healer. Because as a healer, you're already not putting out much damage. But if you do um, give your team a lot of different utility, you can still carry the game without just getting a whole bunch of kills. So going on to first place, um, if y'all have seen any of my content, you already know what first place is going to be. First place is Feather Illusion Jutsu. Now, I shouldn't have to explain this that much, but Feather Illusion Jutsu literally puts everybody to sleep. Everybody on the enemy team. And the range on it is massive. So, like, it, it, it's really, really good. So, um... Oh, not only does it put them to sleep, it also puts their substitution and their ninjutsu and their ninja tools all to zero. So, it resets... All of that. It, it's amazing. It is amazing. And a good thing to know is if people are in the air, whenever you pop it, like say they're over a cliff and you pop it, they'll go to sleep in midair and you, you'll get kills off that way. So anyways, um, that's the Jutsus. I'm going to go ahead and get into a mission and show you guys. Um, so I'll see you there. All right. So we're in a mission now. Um, I just need to charge my ult and then I'll show you guys everything like that. I'm going to be making cuts and stuff this time so you guys don't have to sit here. And watch me charge my ult, so uh, I'll see you when we get there. Alright guys, so I, I got my ult now, and um, as you can see, my health is pretty low. But um, once I pop my ult, max HP, right? 
what gives me a lot of HP and my team max HP. But the thing about it is it also revives. That's that's like the main thing. That's that's the reason why it's so good. Because um it revives allies that have fallen down. So uh we're gonna go ahead and get into the other jutsu, the other ultimates, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, so now we have uh the second best ultimate, which is uh insect bug jammer. Uh oh, he's trying to come on me. Yeah, so what you do is you click it and it puts these bugs out. Now that these bugs are out. The uh, enemy can no longer uh, lock onto me. Now, I don't know if that works for... Yeah, see? Like, usually he would ult me, but he can't see me, so he just ulted randomly, right? And, um, like, they barely can see anything. I don't know if you guys have been hit by it before, but you can barely see anything. You can't lock onto people or anything like that. Not even soft lock. So it's a really, really good technique if you're trying to uh, uh, pretty much allow the enemies to not be able to attack you or anything like that. It really shuts down the attack and range types, so it's a really good ult there. Alright guys, so I have my ult now, and you're about to see what Feather Illusion can do. I literally put anyone inside this really big dome asleep. Now the thing about it is, if somebody doesn't get hit by this on the enemy team, and they walk inside that dome, they, they also um, go to sleep. So, like, if you're not in the dome and you walk in, you'll go to sleep also. Um, not to mention, it resets the substitution jutsu, their items, well, their uh, ninja tools, and their jutsus. It's a really good ult, and I think this is the best ult in the healer class. Now, um, this is, of course, before any DLC drops or anything like that. Uh, so, if there is something that drops as far as DLC that's better, I'll be sure to cover it. But until then... Um, until then, uh, this is the top three ultimate jutsus in the game. So uh, with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.